Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back with another video. And today we're going to be reacting to the Dutch police chasing a stolen vehicle that crosses into Germany, across the border. So we're going to see how the two police departments interact from the different countries. And it should be a really exciting watch. I have no idea if they're going to catch the person. I'm hoping that they catch the person in this video, but we'll find out. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe. Stay tuned for more German content. And also, I figured this could be a cool introduction into the Netherlands as the Netherlands borders Germany. And there's a lot to learn there with the bike culture and all different types of things. So I'm super excited to start some reactions on the Netherlands pretty soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that. But let's get right into this. Gewoon 23-21 Urgenthal. Achtervolging richting uh, Loopballen richting Zender en achter die witte bus. Ja, dus ontvangen. We gaan nu uh, aan de uitval voorbij en naar richting uh, Westenhof. Ja, is ontvangen 24.01 u terug en dan via de Forsweg richting Weersloven. Ontvangen 40. Hij komt. Als je het goed hebt, komt hij. Ja. Oké. Okay. Uh, de rechtsaf gaat hier richting uh, Weersloven. Ja, rechtsaf richting Werslo 2401. Dan krijgt hij hem zo een zicht over. En niet blokken. Attentie, attentie. Alle collega's niet bezig met de achtervolging. Schakelen OC 04. OC 2401. De verdachte lijkt op. Dat is ontvangen. That van is flying. Oh my god. So I'm going to presume that right now they're in the Netherlands. And this, this van is going to take them on quite a chase. So far, good communication. Between the dispatch and the officers. 2302, uh, u Ja, ontvangen en 2205, 0.51 ook uh, doorrijden richting Oldenzaal. Eentje erachter, bij erin? Nee, laat maar. Kom maar laat ze maar. Ja, voertuig stopt op de Limsloze Veldweg, rijdt weer, stopt weer. Ja, dat is Probeer eruit te trekken. Probeer eruit te trekken. Ja, dat doet hij ook een keer. He knows what he's doing. Nu, rennen, kom. Kom maar, stap in. Yo, he's literally messing around with them. Nog steeds lemt onze veld weg, stopt er weer en rijdt weer door. Ja, ontvangen. Ja, dat is zo de uh, bebouwde kom weer. Dus uh, let op de veiligheid over. Oh my god. I mean, look, th this is the problem with these stolen vehicle chases. Look at this right here, guys. Yeah, just let the Like, it's just people, like, you literally are putting so many people's lives at risk over what? I mean, oh, I really hope this van gets caught. And he was messing around with them when they were in that, in the woods, stopping and then starting whenever they ran. Like, you know how infuriating that would be, at like, for an officer? Like, these guys are really keeping their cool. It's, it's super impressive to see this, so. I know. Hier tot de positie Thailaan, 100 km per uur. Ja, dat is ontvangen. Het is Hier tot de positie Astenstraat. Ja, Astenstraat richting van de Ierenstraat. Ierenstraat rechtsaf. Ik heb geen idee op de vraag hoeveel uh, de Chinoos bezig is met een busje. Ja, 24.01. Doe nu het contact gaat met melden. Ja, maar melders mobiel ligt in het busje en de passant die is naar melden geweest al. Ja, dat is ontvangen. Ja, rondweg op, rond 
weg uh, richting H1. Hij stopt. Moment. Why does he keep stopping? Nee, dat gaat hij niet doen, hè? Hij uh, gaat de middengeleider over het uh, bosje. Hij schiet er nog wel één positie. Ja, rondweg is hij over de hoge middenscheiding. Uh, 24 mee zit en als eerste achter. We gaan de verdiepe rondweg in richting uh, Globaal Denikamp SLA. Ja, dat is wel Stop nou, doe niet zo idioot. Stop. Ja, hier 4 tot 1 nog steeds Denenkampenstraat richting Denenkamp, 80 km per uur. Ik druk mij weg. We gaan de hele links langs, of niet? Ja, stuur eens om richting Duitsland. Rotonde rechts richting Beuningen. Ja, is ontvangen. Uh, we zijn de Duitsers nu in Rennes aan het stellen. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Understood. We are currently informing the Germans. Oh, all right. Uh, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. Here. Negatief rechts. Oh, komt de vol op. I'm actually kom excited. Wat doe je? Ja, hij is een auto voorbij, nog steeds oude dijk, oude dijk. Nou, we mochten die blokken rechtsaf richting Noordhorn. Collega's Noordhorn gaan richting Grens. Ik denk dat hij dat net op inhaal. Ik doe het niet hoor. Nee. Oh. Noordhornse straat richting Noordhorn. Hij rijdt 6 uh, aan het levensgevaar. Overig verkeer. Ja, er is weinig overig verkeer. Dat zigzag doet hij omdat wij uh, doen alsof we gaan inhalen. En dan uh, maakt hij die dwingende beweging. Ik zit door. Ja, we naderen nu de grens. En hij rijdt gewoon door. Grens over het volk. Ja, okay. Honestly, I really like this right here. The German colleagues. I like I like the way they are. I don't know if these are like complete direct translations, but these are like really good. It's a really good uh, communication. Uh. Oh. Duitsers zijn leidend, hè? Duitsers zijn leidend. Germans are leading. Nog eentje. Collega's uh, blokken mislukt. Andere collega blok niet voert als A1. Hold on, hold on. Before we even get into this, I want to know something right now. Nog eentje. Look right here. Look at this Mercedes sitting in traffic. Uh, Y'all probably saw mislukt. it. Andere collega blok. Who's liable? Who's liable? I guess the you know. I don't know. I'll explain more on that why I asked that because in the United States we have specific laws for that. Yeah, he he has all the rights. And Dutch. And colleagues are rammed over. Dutch are there. There are. Positive. Come on. Wens je gewond over? Nee, niet genaamd. Schade aan andere voertuigen. Hij zit in wils op het verkeerterrein van X. Zitten blijven, zitten ja, blijven. Ja, dat is ontvangen. Uh, alle ingangen uh, van XXL loots uh, afzetten dan. Ja, gaan we proberen. Hij is ontvangen. Zijn er al Duitse collega's? Ja, de collega's zijn erbij. He got away. We moeten hem dichtzetten hier. Waar is hij hier? Zijn er twee? Ja, hier, hier, hier. Hier dus. Hier is het. Persoon aangehouden. Waar moet hij heen? 
Duitse cel? Ja, bij hun politiecel. Dus wij moeten met hun mee rijden? Ja, oké. Dat is goed. Oké. The suspect had arrested and brought into Nordhorn police station in Germany. Here it appeared he had a warrant in Germany and he had 311 days left in prison to serve for theft and committed traffic violations. He will have to stand for a judge in the Netherlands and Germany. Yo, that's actually crazy. So instead of just serving those 311 days, I'm sure he's going to serve a bit longer <laughs> after doing probably one of the dumbest things I've ever done, which is, well, I, well, <laughs> probably think doing one of the dumbest things you could do. Personally, I have never taken police on a chase in a stolen vehicle. So nobody clip that, please. But uh, no, that was really good to see the cooperation between the Netherlands and Germany. It goes to show how nice that European Union really can be and, and like countries are genuinely working together in, at, at points, you know, obviously not everything's as as great as it may seem and we, we do have a lot to learn about the European Union still, but I think this is a good example of, you know, reaping the benefits of it and just being able to communicate with, uh, with other departments. So I wanted to ask, um, at, the, at some point during the video, this Mercedes in traffic was hit by a police car. And I was asking, who's liable? Is the police department going to have to, like, I'm assuming their insurance is going to pay it. But what's interesting about that is in the United States, we actually have laws where, like, if something's in, in public and, it, like, if a police officer, let's say, for example, there's a, a hostage situation and your car is sitting out on the street. If a police officer uses... I don't know, the back of your, like the back of your vehicle as a place to position their gun and maybe they scrape it up or something. The police department and that police officer are not liable. That's a specific law in the United States. So I'm not sure how that would go. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm not sure how that would go with like a, a traffic incident, but I was curious about that. Common sense would be, you know, the police department's insurance, but you know, the United States, it's not always guaranteed. So that's why that was, I brought that up. But overall, this is really, really satisfying to watch. I love when the, the when the perpetrator gets caught at the end. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for recommending this. And uh, definitely stay tuned for some more content on the Netherlands and Germany as well. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.